Hey guys, my name is Carlos Mendez. I'm a 3D artist using SOLIDWORKS Visualize. And today in this quick tip, I'm going to show you how to use the depth of field. So what's depth of field? Well, it's usually an optical blur that occurs on a physical camera. And it's mostly noticed when you have an object uh, that is uh, you're shooting very close and the background is really very far or you have a, a foreground object that's very close and the object is farther away so you get sort of a blur in uh, depending on how far the object is uh, if you run a quick, quick google search you'll see a bunch of examples of this and um, but i'll show you how to use it in solidworks visualize thankfully it's very simple so we're going to have we open this scene that has a bunch of stacked sunglasses uh, which kind of will show this effect very simply. Uh, the way that you do it is that you first make sure you um, put it in the correct rendering mode. In this case, we're going to be using fast, but also accurate also works, but we're going to be using fast. I click on fast. And then uh, the next step to do is that we click on camera. Then you'll find at the bottom of camera, you'll have a depth of field tab. We're going to tick the checkbox there. And uh, you'll notice that maybe nothing happened. And that is because the f-stop number might be too high. The f-stop number is obviously referencing photography. So uh, anybody with a photography background will understand that the lower the f-stop, the higher the depth of field becomes, uh, the easier you can see the effect. So we're going to bring that down an exaggerated amount. You can start seeing now that some parts are getting blurry, some parts are not. Uh, we're going to put this at a more reasonable number, like a 2. And we're going to pick the point of focus. And when you're going to click pick, and I, let's see, I'm going to pick this part, the geometry. You'll notice now that this is nice and focused while everything in the background and in the foreground is blurred. So one thing to point out that that the field um, is relative to the mesh scale. So if the geo is too large, the depth of field effect will be less noticeable. So you have to make sure that you import models that are modeled to scale in order for uh, the f-stop to kind of work as if it was the real real world uh, dimensions. Uh, one last thing I wanted to point out is that you can actually animate this effect if you want to animate it in your in your sort of your video outputs. Uh, the way you do that is you want to first make sure to show the timeline. So we're going to click show timeline. Uh, next step would be to kind of give you a starting point. We'll, we'll give it a high starting point. In this case, we'll make it a 22 like it was earlier. And then we're going to right click on the camera. I'm going to say add keyframe. And we're going to advance it to say four seconds. And I'm going to bring it down to uh, like 1.2, which is a very fast lens. And that's all it takes. Now, if you move the timeline back and forth, you'll notice that the difference from time zero to the two second mark to the four second mark. All right, everybody, I hope this was helpful to you. Uh, thanks for watching.